If you've watched some of my videos, you see that we built the shop ourselves. This was a building I bought, tore down, and then moved to this location, poured my own slab, put up all the steel. Um, but when I built the building, I wasn't exactly sure where this front door was going to be. And so um, you can see the difference in the colors. See, I only had enough steel once I salvaged everything to do three sides with the original steel. So the front was, uh, I ended up buying new steel for it, but I wasn't sure when I first built it. So I just poured this, the concrete all the same way and I didn't taper this down away from the door. And so what was, what's happening is with the garage door, the water comes down and there's a spot right there where there's a little low spot in the concrete and then on both corners, basically, the water was coming in. So I already did this, uh, put one of these new rubber door seals in. I've done this on before on my garage up in the front and it seemed to really help and work nicely. So I'll show you how I did it and all the info will be in the link as far as what I used to do it. So enjoy the video. Okay, you can see right there, I have put a line on the outside of my door and on the inside of my door. And I am going to grind off my epoxy shield flooring because I would rather the adhesive go straight to concrete than to sit on top of the epoxy shield, uh, just in case. So I'm gonna get a grinding disc on and take some of that off. Another reason I'm taking the epoxy off is because of all the chips. It's just a real rough surface. In the corners, I've already caulked it, but I'm also gonna take, and starting right here, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna cut out about a one inch channel. And then this I'll end up uh, right here, I'll end up filling that with caulk up to this to seal it. And hopefully that will create a little channel where the water can run off on both sides. Cause that's where it mostly comes in. I get a, a little channel that comes in here. You can see right back there a little bit. And then the other one is where this repair was made. So those are the two areas that I'm most concerned with. Okay, let's see if the little water trough is gonna work as I spill this everywhere. I just wanna get it right in the trough. Okay. Um. It looks like it's all going that way. Let's check that one more. Yeah, everything appears to be going into the trough, even the stuff that's right there next to it. And looking at it, it's running down. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, well, I think all my prep work is done. My little channels are on both sides. The water does seem to flow out of them. I'm probably gonna have to do something where that little joint in the concrete was, just to make sure that that doesn't uh, get too much moisture down in it, start breaking up the concrete in the winter. So I think I'm gonna apply the epoxy and put the thing down. Okay, so the epoxy's down. You can see the sun's kind of hitting it. And I went ahead and caulked in uh, around the rest of that little area. This is gonna get uh, aluminum flashing over it. And then eventually I will put the door, that rubber door seal that fits up against the door. So that should help keep everything down off this side. And then as it runs down, hopefully it will either go to one end or the other end and out the little trough until I can get this cut a little bit and then 
get the edge ground off so that hopefully it's tilted just a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy. We'll see how it works. If, if it's working the way it is, I'm not gonna go crazy. If it doesn't work, then I will restart. So there it is, the way to fix a leaky door on a sh the shop. Okay, it's been 24 hours since I did the door seal, so I'm gonna pop it open, let the sun hit this thing for a while. Hopefully it'll uh, cure the rest of the way. It should be ready to drive on actually after 24 hours. I guess I would say then make sure that you pre-plan everything on your building as much as you can when you go to build one and then you'll eliminate extra work like that of course the door seal itself is still probably a good idea no matter how you build it having that little lip there um, definitely screws things up a little so all right thanks for watching